Hey everyone, Victor here again from Mapster. Uh, one more uh, video we're making on something that is a bit more complicated uh, and probably deserves a little video to explain how it works in Mapster WordPress Maps. And that's categories and category filters. So categories um, in Mapster WordPress Maps works pretty similar to categories in WordPress in general. You can assign categories to uh, maps, locations, lines, and polygons since all these geographic features by default get their own full posts in WordPress. This is mainly to help your search engine optimization or if you're making, you know, if you want each uh, feature to have its own post, you don't have to have it that way. There, there's a setting, you can turn that off if you don't want them to be public or individually posts. But uh, that way you can have categories associated with all sorts of things. So I've created some custom categories already. You just create them in a very similar way to other things in WordPress. The only difference is you have a color and icon uh, ability to add these as well. So for instance, if I head into category one, it's just got a normal gray color. Let's go back and we'll head to the second category. You can see I've made it red. So you can change that. Um, and of course you can create categories as children of other categories and all that good stuff. Now, you know, what's the point of this beyond just normal WordPress stuff? Well, we have this feature um, called, the, um, called the category filter, which is basically a toggleable set of checkboxes that will turn off and on different features on your map. So if you have a, you know, a whole bunch of different features and you want to categorize them in different ways, say you have, you know, sets of people that are from one state or from another state or from one part of the world, then you can categorize them and people can easily select uh, checkboxes to turn that off and on. So let's just take a quick look. Um, we've associated some quick polygons with uh, categories. You can see there's a just a blocky category here that's category one and second category. So it's both the parent, both the parent categories. We also have a line here, which is associated with one of the child categories. I can't remember if that's from, cat. I think it's child of the second category, um, but that's, you know, they're there and you can always add a new one here and all that good stuff. Um, and then if we head over to maps, we have our category filter test map. And uh, when it loads, you can see we've already chosen it, but where it actually is managed is inside the filter and list section. Um, so you, we've added these features by uh, selecting them in the lines and polygons section. Then we had to filter and list and we turn on the category filter. And here you can choose, oh, do we want to display those colors next to them? Uh, do we want it to look like checkboxes? or like switches. So if we change checkboxes and we can change where it appears, whether it's top left, you can see there, it changes there. So um, now how it works is basically if one of the categories is not selected that the thing is a part of, it will disappear. So in this case, um, even though the blue square is also part of the second category, it's deselected here, so it disappears. Uh, if you find that doesn't work for what you need, then just get in touch and we may add a new feature there to make them either exclusive or inclusive categories, which is different depending on just, you know, if you're categorizing things in multiple ways. Uh, but you can see here also when you select a child category for a single parent, it turns off the parent as well. But if there was more than one child here, uh, the parent would still be checked, even if the child would be off. Experiment a little and take a look. It's a fairly advanced feature, uh, but one that is fairly useful. So um, it'll work like this just on the front end if we were to publish it and then we pop it open. And you'll see here the check boxes look a little different because my, my theme is messing with them. Um, so if I want to go back and just say, ah, screw it, we'll make these the switches after all. Boom, and we'll reload, and there's our little switches, and all this stuff functions how you want. So uh, yeah, just get in touch if this isn't quite working for you, it's not quite what you expect, but that's the category filter feature, and uh, we think it's awesome. So we're looking forward to seeing what you think of it too.